Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa Welcome to another episode of the 99 names of Allah. Subhanallah, this is the sixth day of Ramadan. We've been going through quite a few of the names of Allah. I hope this has been beneficial so far and I hope you're utilizing the names in your dua, inshallah. Today, the f we're going to go through four names of Allah. The first name we're going to speak about, the first name of Allah is Al Halim that Allah is the forbearing. He doesn't rush to immediately punish his servants. Every human being commits sins. We make mistakes. Sometimes we intend to make mistakes. Sometimes we don't intend to make mistakes. But Allah, it's when we make mistakes, he doesn't just come and punish us straight away. He gives us time. He gives us time to repent. He gives us time to leave that sin alone and come back to the correct worship, the correct way of living. He even gives us chance to repent and gives us chance to cleanse our sins with good deeds and also fasting like Ramadan. Sometimes our sins are at different levels. It may be a minor sin. It may be a major sin. It may even be shirk. Some people may be, they may be Muslim, but they may be doing acts of shirk. They may be doing innovations, but Allah gives us time to come back to Him. He gives us time to seek knowledge and repent. He doesn't immediately punish. The fact that Al Halim gives us the opportunity to repent, gives us a window of opportunity to repent for our sins before the angels even write the sin down on our account. So Al Halim gives us this opportunity to repent, the opportunity of repenting without being punished straight away. This is the mercy of Allah. This leads us to the next name, which is Al-Hamid. Al-Hamid is the one who deserves to be praised. He's the one who is praised and he fully deserves it. Al-Hamid is the one who fully deserves to be praised for his actions, for who he is and his attributes and his actions. Al-Halim is an example of that. Look at the, the mercy of Al-Halim, given us chance to repent. This is why Allah, Allah, this is one of the reasons why Allah is Al-Hamid. He deserves to be praised. Look at the attribute that he has. Look at who Allah is. Look at the names that we've been through so far. Does Allah not deserve to be worshipped and praised? This is why Allah is Al-Hamid. The next name is Al-Hay. Al-Hay is the ever-living one. Allah is alive and living. He, is, he never ceases to live. He's always living. He never dies. Through His power, He's always alive. He remains alive without beginning, without end. Allah is al Hay. He is alive, everlasting, and He never dies. And He's always alive. Look at the power of Allah. Every single one of us has known somebody who has passed away. And if you don't, then you're going to find somebody soon. We've all had a family member pass away, a friend, a neighbor, somebody at the masjid. We know how short life is. This just shows us how weak we are. When we look at the trees in the mountains, some of them are dying right now. Some of the trees are brown. They have a short lifespan. Everything in the creation has a lifespan. But Allah is al Hay the ever-living, the one who always is alive, never ceases to exist, never dies and never passes away. Look at the power of Allah, al Hay. Not only is Allah al Hay, the ever-living, but He is al Qayyum, the one who sustains, not only sustains, but everything is sustained by Him, al Qayyum. He is self-sustaining and He is the one who sustains all the creation, all the creatures, all the human beings are dependent on Him. 
where Allah is not dependent. He is self-sustaining, Al-Qayyum. He has absolutely no need for anything or anyone, but everything and everyone is in need of Him. He is in absolutely no need of anything or anyone, but everything in existence is in total need of Him. Whether you believe it or not, whether you know it or not, everything is sustained by Him. Allah is in control of the provisions, the water, the weather, the sun, the moon, the night, the day. SubhanAllah, just imagine if you couldn't sleep at night, how would your life be without rest? Allah gives you the ability to fall asleep, the ability to rest. Everything is sustained by Allah. All your food, all your provision, it comes from Him. He is the creator of everything, the creator of all events, and the creator of all the things that sustain you. He is Al Qayyum. SubhanAllah, these four names today the forbearing, the one who does not immediately punish, Al Hamid, he deserves to be worshipped and praised, Al Hay, the ever living, the one that doesn't cease to exist and he never dies, and Al Qayyum, the self subsisting, the sustainer, and the one who sustains everything. SubhanAllah. Allah, it truly is amazing. So make sure you use these names in your du'as this Ramadan. Make sure you try to memorize them. Test each other at home. And inshallah, don't forget, go to the link below and download the booklet where you can get a free PDF copy of the booklet and follow the names every day, inshallah. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the 99 Names of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.